Good morning guys. It's um, Saturday morning. It's about half past six in the morning and it's time for the boot sale. Good morning guys, welcome to the video. My name's Derek, also known as Tap Peddler. I'm a full-time eBay reseller and I make my living selling things online on eBay and Etsy and Facebook Marketplace for a profit. Today I'm off to a car boot sale um, on a Saturday, um, so I've got one tomorrow as well. I'm going to be a little bit more picky today because um, last week um, I didn't list as much as I was hoping to, um, so I've got quite a lot of stuff still to list from the previous two boot sales. So yeah, the, the plan is to um, be a little bit more picky. I'm, I'm still going to buy stuff when I can because um, I want to stock up on good quality things, um, but I'm not going to spend um, too much money on stuff that I don't really need or there isn't um, a huge amount of profit in. So that being said, let's get to the boot sale and um, see what I can pick up today. I think that revenge is, is a dish, as they say, best served cold, and I think we may see more revelations from Mr. Cummings on that score. Me. Betty, I don't you. know where I'm going, but uh, don't die with me. It's very sad, to, very sad, and of course, um, was very good. Um, but I, when I listened, I, I did actually watch it back because I couldn't, uh, I couldn't watch it live. But I did actually choose the option to watch it without the commentary. LBC, uh, 40 minutes to seven. Coming up at seven, Andrew Castle, leading Britain's conversation. Okay, guys, that's me arrived. I made a bit of a cock-up. Um, I got up early thinking that I could get here for seven o'clock. Um, but I've just realised that it's seven o'clock for sellers, it's 7.30 for buyers. So I've got for half an hour to just wait around. I think I got confused between the Saturday and the Sunday boot sale. Never mind, I'm here. I've got a good parking space, so I don't have to move the car later to load up. So that's quite good. Um, yeah, I'm just going to hang around for 20 minutes, then I'll get out and um, wait around the entrance in anticipation for entry to the boot sale. Hi guys, that's me back home from the boot sale. So let me show you what I picked up today. I saw this at the um, store. Um, looked quite good, you know, two aerials, blah, blah, blah. And it was only three pounds. Unfortunately, completely different router and it's one of these one of these ones um, I have sold them before they do still sell I think yeah about 10 pound I just adjusted the camera there yeah th um, that one's not really the right one for the box but it still sells and he chucked in this big button telephone which is in the box for the three pounds so profit there so I've got them it's at this um, Freeview box. It hasn't got the remote. It's a Thompson model. Um, whether it's worth getting the remote, I don't know. But it came with um, another Freeview box, which did come with the remote for £5. So £2.50. So that's not too bad, um, considering it's in the box and it will have a nice presented um, listing. Picked up these vintage headphones. There you go. I'm pretty sure they're the right ones for the box. I think they are. I'm not 100% sure actually. Um, but that's fine. If they're not, then I'll sell these separately. They're made in Japan. 
Unisound S444. No idea if they're good or not, but um, usually when something's made in Japan, it's usually decent. It's vintage, so um, happy enough with that. Looked at this Pentax P80 um, projector um, in the box. It's got all the cables and stuff. Fingers crossed that works. I'm guessing about 50 to 60 pound on that if it works. If it doesn't work, probably more the 20 mark plus postage um, as a prop or something, but fingers crossed it will work. This was a nice little pickup. Vintage valve radio. Um, it's got KB on it. I'm not sure what brand it is. Colster Brands. Um, it's got no back. Um, but fingers crossed, it will sell even though without without it back. It's also probably going to be spares of repairs because I'm not going to mess about with this wiring. Um, so it's a nice. Art Deco style front to it. Looks like there's a bit of woodworm at the top, um, but I've sold them before like that. Um, and still fetch a decent price, so yeah. That was 15, so I sort of paid up a bit on that. But I'll be putting it on there for about 80 pounds, so fingers crossed there's profit in that one. This is the other um, Freeview box I picked up with that Thompson's one. This one, this time it does come with the remote. Okay, I picked up this um, sewing machine. This is a brother model. This was £10, a PS35. Um, £10 might have been a bit too high, I don't know. Um, it comes with a pedal. Um, I've sold them before many, many times, sewing machines like that, and history states that I'll probably at least get £50 for this, probably more. Um, they all command different prices depending on the model and the specification and the brand. Um, but yeah, for £10, I think my money's fairly safe. Another mini fridge, this time comes with the cables inside. Um, a bit of yellowing on there. Um, that was a fiver, but I usually find these sell for about £30-ish. That's the cover for the sewing machine. I picked up some pots and pans because they were cheap. It's a fiver for the lot, so a fiver for all these ones I'm about to show you. Um, prestige one with nice wooden handle. Um, and there's a matching. The matching one here with the wooden handle as well, so I'll probably send sell them as a pair. Prestige is a decent um, vintage brand. Um, this is another one with a nice red um, top to it. Um, whoop, aluminium. Um, what brand is this? It did have a brand on it. Um, made in England, in Pyramid maybe, I think it's Pyramid, um, but yeah, they're quite nice looking pans, um, quite clean, um, so what's going on, these all go on Etsy as well, um, Argolux pan, another one, um, with the lid, black handle, um, two litres. Um, I've got quite a few pans now that they haven't sold. So and there's another Ergolux. So I'll probably bundle both of them together. Possibly. Um, and another pair here. I think these are more sort of modern ones, but they might be decent quality. Meister Tensil. Uh, made in Hong Kong, so they must be fairly old. Um, there they are. So, not too bad. Um, worth worth it for the cost. 
picked up a big bag of Panasonic um, cordless phones, usual type, this sort of thing that goes on bases. Um, I usually don't split the bases now, I usually sell as one big bundle, um, which I'll probably do with this. Um, I think there's like five different phones here, so um, that was four pounds for the lot, which is probably paying up for me for one of them, but I bought it early on when it wasn't looking like I was going to get much, but I ended up getting loads. Jam pan, I've sold these before, you've probably seen them on my um, haul videos. Um, this one comes with a free nail and screw in the bottom of it. And it has got a brand on it, um, which helps. Um, Kind of spinning, spinning something. So yeah, cut that will clean up, and that will sell probably about twenty pounds. Picked up this nice little petite typewriter um, in the case, obviously vintage. It's a plastic typewriter. in its original case um, but it looks like there's something wrong with the caps lock key so I'm gonna have to try and fix that or sell it as as broken basically so but it does actually work apart from that the caps lock is stuck on I think so I'll have a mess about with that but it was a fiver um, brought him down from ten pound um, because of the caps lock issue it's at this Sony boombox um, standard thing, really. Um, it's got a broken aerial, but it is there, so it should be okay. Usually find that doesn't affect the price too much. Um, batteries are pretty corroded in there. So it doesn't look like they're actually damaged the terminals, so it should be okay. So I'll, I'll remove those batteries, get it cleaned up quite easily, I think. Um, probably looking about £30 for that, if it works. Little leather bag, oh, big leather bag really, um, vintage thing I think, no key, but um, you usually find that doesn't really matter, um, it's got the latch, latch works, um, and that was chucked in with something I'm going to show you now. Uh, this is the box for it. It's a cycloid action massager. Um, and I discarded it because he wanted £10. And I went away and I looked on eBay. I'll show you what it is. That's what it is. I thought it was a microphone to begin with. So vintage thing and I didn't think it would be worth much had a look on eBay it looks like they can sell for around sort of hundred pound maybe even more um, so that might be a bit of a good buy so that's why I bought it um, in the box with the instructions and stuff so um, that was my risky purchase of the day really um, but I'm pretty sure my ten pounds safe Picked up this, this was just a pound. It's your typical teapot with the um, chrome lid. Seems to be okay. It's got a little stopper thing, which I see me just pop in there. Um, made in England Celtic beehive. So yeah, for a pound, I thought it was worth going on. Picked up this Lloyd's Pharmacy ionizing air purifier in the box um do well off these don't know about how much this is worth but i think it was only three pounds so there's plenty of profit there i think one of my first purchases of the day was this um, red telephone um only three pounds for this and i've sold these before um it's obviously a modern phone but it's um in the vintage style um Fingers crossed it works. 
And if it does, I can have a decent price for that. Somebody will want that in the girls. I mean, this will go for a girl's bedroom, it'll go for a prop, or it'll go in a retro home. So plenty of market for that sort of thing. Okay. Ooh. Legs. Now these legs are for a table. And I'll just get it out. Right, this is the table. So it's got a, got this brass top to it. It goes on there, and then the legs screw to the bottom. Um, vintage thing, no idea of the value, um, but I'm trying new things. This is fairly easy to post with the legs coming off, so um, that'll go on Etsy and eBay. Should do okay on that, I think. Um, it was five pound anyway, so can't really can't really lose. Got these bundle of electrics. Um, I don't think I'll be able to sell some of this. Two Virgin boxes, which I won't be able to sell. Um, probably take the hard drives out of them. Um, Panasonic DVD player and an LG DVD player. Um, they were cheap, which was the reason I purchased them. Here's quite a nice item. A hoover. An actual hoover. Um, this model, the vintage with the bag on the side. Um, looks from completed so that I'll be able to aim about 80, 85 pounds for this. Assuming it will work. It's got some bags with it. So yeah, quite nice item. Um, in clean, nice clean condition as well. So quite happy with that. Because they probably go to a prop department or something like that. A lot of people actually collect hoovers. Um, somebody might want it as spares, um, or somebody might want to actually use it in like a retro home or something. So yeah, quite a cool item. Picked up this MIDI keyboard. It's got the MIDI out on the back there so you can connect it to something like an Atari ST or something like that. Um, nice item, it's got pitch bending, uh, modulation, etc. Um, looking at around sort of 20 to 30 pounds for that. Um, not a great deal, um, but got a good deal on it so it wasn't too bad. Picked up this vintage mirror. Quite nice thing. Um, wooden framed vintage thing. Um, I've done well off mirrors before, getting about 50 to 60 pound on them. Um, don't know how much I'll aim for that one. Probably around the 50 pound mark. I'm quite happy with that. I bought that for £15 with another item, which I'm going to show you next. I picked up this, which I assume is a stall for like a vanity unit. Um, I assume it's vintage. It's made by Serum. Um, so you can store your stuff in there and then sit on it. Um, gold and white. Nice piece for Etsy, hopefully. So I've got that with the mirror for um, 15. No idea on, on how much I'll sell the chair for. Might even be a fail, I don't know. Um, but the, si the size of it doesn't worry me because it's basically a box. So as long as you can get a big box, which I can, um, I put bubble wrap around the important parts and um, yeah, ship it fairly easily, so that doesn't bother me. Picked up this vintage heater fan. Um, wasn't gonna go on this, but again, the price was pretty cheap, so um, thought I'd give it a go. Um, this is a Ducal model. Um, Ducal Aristocrat, um, made in England. Um, ideal as a prop or to just use I guess. Bought some roof seal which is actually to fix my um, fix my storage roof um, 
search for myself. Um, Technics um, CD player. Um, it was just a pound, no idea if it works. Um, another free to view TV box. No remotes, but I think I've got remotes that will go with that. This Samsung um, speaker. Um, I'm not actually sure what this is. It looks like it's a radio. Um, it's a DVD player, it's got DVD on it. Hey, you put the DVD in the top. So yeah, no idea on value on that. It might be a surround system type thing. Um, but um, it's got to be worth more than I paid, which I think was a fiver. And I think this goes with it, but whether I'll actually um, put it with it is another matter. It's a Samsung subwoofer speaker. I've sold them just on their own for about £20. Um, so, yeah, whether I'll put that with that other thing, I don't know yet. I'll have to research prices and, you know, because I haven't obviously got the other surround sound parts of the speaker system. So it'll probably be purring it out type thing. Um, and that's it. That is everything. So, decent amount of stuff. As I said, I was fairly picky. There was a few nice things there, but people just wanted a little bit too much for, for them. Um, so, no, no good for reselling, really. Um, but I'm at a boot sale again tomorrow, so I'm not too worried. And I've, as I said before, I've got loads of stuff from last boot sales as well still to go through. So yeah, so um, thank you for watching. I um, hope you enjoyed the content. If you did, please leave me a like. Drop me a comment in the description if you um, if you got any opinions on the stuff I bought, whether I pay too much, whether I've missed something, all of that sort of stuff. Always good to hear. Um, let me know how you, how you like the format of the videos. Whether you know I could do something different. I don't generally go round the boot sale with a camera, although I, there was a little bit of footage. I always try to keep a bit of footage, but not too much. I'm just recording on my phone. Um, I don't really worry about having a GoPro. If you would like to see that sort of footage, let me know because maybe I could look into doing it. Um, if you want to support the channel, um, please um, go through to the um, Kofu website. Um, there's a link in the description you can um, buy me a, a, a coffee um, and that just encourages me to do more videos and to um, improve the content where I can. Um, yeah, so I'll see you um, for the next video, which will be tomorrow's boot sale. So see you then, guys. Thanks for watching and bye for now.